on the trail. He lurks in the dark. He strikes in the back. Murder, intrigue, horror, destruction. Brother against brother, friend against friend. Who is this man who holds them all at bay? Who is this man who laughs at the law and underworld alike? Who is the Iron Claw? His mute servant knows and starts to write his name. Too late, he's killed by the wicked claw. Then gangsters kidnap jives and part of the gold cash. Bob Lane races to the rescue and grim fate steps in. He's been in there a long time. You think I better go in? No, he said to wait. I did. Well, what became a jive? He got away when I busted in. He had gold in that bag. That's what the gang was after. Don't let anyone touch it. What's this all about, Wayne? Dead man and shooting? Well, I came here on a story. A gang attacked me. That man outside tried to throw me off the roof, but fell himself. Why should they attack you? Hadn't you better try to capture some of that gang? Your buddy's up there, and they're plenty tough. They might have bumped them off. How's the gold, timer? Not so good. Jive's got away with the gold. And if it hadn't been for that reporter, they'd have got the gold. A pretty chattel of fish. He'll want to know where it came from. The mine, of course. That story is always held up. It won't hold up now. Any expert could tell in a minute that mine is of no value. You were all fools leaving that car parked in front of the tenement. It might ruin us. They can't trail us. The car is hot. It was stolen for the job. Don't worry about the car. What about poor Luke getting his? He was my buddy. Well, that was unfortunate. Sure, unfortunate for poor Luke. That's another account to settle with that reporter. I told you he was dynamite. He is. If it wasn't for him, we'd have the Benson gold. And now he can put the finger on us for the cops. That is, if he lives long enough. He won't if you'll turn us loose on him. All right, go ahead. But be smart about it. Come on, what are we waiting for? That's my apartment phone. I'm going there to clean up and back to the office. Thanks. I won't bother you unless I have to. But keep me posted, will you? About everything. I'll see you tonight, sure. You wait at the office, Flash. I'm going to need you. Clark Apartments, please. Watch your step. Oh, oh. I've been waiting for you. Well, here I am. I'm taking you in. The inspector wants to have a talk with you. Oh, you got a warrant? I don't need one. I'm taking you in on suspicion. And according to your record, it starts in at murder and goes on up. I've served my time. You guys got no right to dog me around. Well, I'm only taking orders. All right, let's get it over with. But if you think you're putting me on the grid, you're crazy. I'm not talking. The police are arresting your brother, Roy. Are they? Well, aren't you going to do something? Certainly not. That's one less to watch. Better. He may talk. He'll talk plenty, but not about the treasure. 
That would ruin any chance he has to secure it. They'll have to release him. Worse luck. Too bad they couldn't arrest the others, too. They'll be hovering around. You go downstairs and watch. Well, there he is. Hey, he's making the cab wait. That gives me ideas. Now, look, here's what we'll do. Police headquarters, Inspector Kramer, please. Sorry, this can't be taken. So are you. Get out. Hey, wait a minute. What is this? No, no, Inspector. I don't think that gang had anything to do with the murder of Bensonhurst. Yeah, sure, I'll keep you posted. All right, man. Get on the job, will you? Okay. Yeah, well, well, thanks a lot, Inspector. Yeah, that's great. Thanks. The same thing that's going to happen to you. Let me in, you fool. I must see Atten at once. Just as I said, my dear. And this arrest of Roy proves that I was right. Undoubtedly, he engaged those ruffians to rob poor Jives of my father's gold. In my opinion, he had nothing to do with this gang. I think the guilty one is closer than Roy. Someone who has been here continually. You don't fool me with your insinuations. You're only trying to cover your own guilt. It's marked all over your boat. How dare you? What are they doing? Go and do what I told you. How did that reporter follow Jive? Did you tell him he was carrying gold? Why don't you ask the reporter to explain? I'm sure he'd welcome your interview. Well, I will at the first opportunity. He's entirely too busy with our affairs. Miss Patricia, your uncle wishes to see you at once. Is my father worse? I'll go to him. Please don't. Well, Millie, there's nothing for us to do but leave. It suits me. I'm sick of the whole place and everyone in it. I wish we could depend on that. You can't depend on that. He never told the truth in his life. You're a fine one to talk. Too bad they didn't keep you locked up. They would have if they had anything on me. I'm in the clear. I'm interested in finding the one that tipped them off to grab me. Well, it wasn't me. I'm not interested in you one way or another. Well, you needn't look at us. Because of Millie's father, we try to protect you. I'll find out who it was. What are you up to? Nothing, sir, nothing. Watch your step. I may decide to pin your long ears back. Get those monkeys out of there. That's what your master said you're here to do. Yes, sir. You must tell those reporters to stay away from here. Stop meddling in my affairs. But, Uncle, if it hadn't been for them, Jobs would have been robbed, perhaps killed. Oh, I'm grateful for what they did. But that is past. I'll not have them hanging around. Very well, I'll tell them. Thank you, my dear. I do hope you'll feel better. Good night, my dear. Good night. Can we take you to town? I have my car. Why the sudden offer? I'd like to be sure you didn't hang around like you did the night of the murder. Fine family trail. I wonder where they're headed for. Another murder or two, I bet you. Don't kid. 
With them gone, we can get to our job. Well, I'm just crazy enough to follow you. Lead on, Captain. Far away. That mine entrance. We're going to explore those tunnels. Well, why not try the panel again? You know, hot breaking's my specialty. That window's a cinch. No, we're going to the mine. Cover new ground. I was afraid of that. They've gone at last. The house is locked up. Roy and Patricia, you checked up on them? They're both safe in their rooms. Their door is locked. I'm sure of it. Good. Then we can act. Guards attention away from that mine entrance. I gotta get in there. How about me? You in and me out ain't so good. You're tickled to death and you know it. Now, as soon as you're sure I'm in, get back to the house and wait for me. Watch Pat's room. Ten to one, I'll come out through the panel in the library. I'll get busy. All right, but look out. You're on your own. be announced. Besides, he didn't want anybody to see me. Well, why are you here? Oh, Bob pulled a bloomer. He went into that mine alone. The guards were supposed to chase me, but they double-crossed me and ran back after him. Well, we must warn him. Yeah, but how? What part of that maze of tunnels is he in? I don't know, but we'll never find out standing here. Come on, come on.
to point to it, else why does he flee from Bensonhurst so fast? And why does Roy treat his brother so cruelly? Has he discovered the secret of the Iron Claw? See what happens in the fiery fall, next week's fast action chapter of the Iron Claw.